بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. So last time I told you the IP address has four numbers, as you see here, four number. Okay, every number is actually eight bits, and because it's eight bits, every number actually can be between zero and two fifty five because eight bits, eight bits can have numbers from zero to two fifty five. Okay. Um, also. I started to explain the idea of hierarchy because this is a very, very important point here uh, because uh, the internet is a very huge network. It's very scalable. There are too many computers. Uh, if it is not, if it is not, if the IP addresses are not, uh, uh, does not have any hierarchy, uh, the routing is going to be too difficult, okay? So also I told you in, in IP version four, uh, the, the IP has 32 bits, total 32 bits, okay? Also, I, last time I, I told you, this IP actually has two parts, as you see here, two parts. One part we call for the network ID and one part for the host ID. Host means computer, for, for uh, computer ID, okay? Uh, and I told you, for example, if you if you look at Qatar University, you will see well, there is one part of common in, in the IBs of, of all, all, all the IBs of the university. This is because oh, the whole university may have only one 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 uh, uh, one net, uh, network IG. Okay. The good thing, the good thing you will understand better why we make it this way, because you may have you you may have like a big big organization like Qatar University campus, for example, big uh, uh, or big company or whatever, okay? The outside world is gonna see all this organization as only one IB, okay? Which is a network, network, network using network ID. You got what I'm saying? So every time any traffic, any traffic come, come to any computer here because all, all the IBs here have the same network ID, the routing tables don't, don't need to record every single, every single IB. Okay, so it is enough. Just if I look to the network ID, if I find this is a network ID for the Qatar University, I'm going to forward it here. Okay, this is very important thing. And then I told you here we're gonna we're gonna divide the the IBs into classes. So uh, we have class A, and in class A you can see here the last bit is zero. Class B the last two bits one zero. The last uh, for the IBs. The uh, class C, it is actually one, one, zero, okay? So if I give you any IB, and I think this will for sure will be a question in exams, in, in homework, in somewhere, I can give you an I, I, IB, and I ask you, what is the class of this IB? Very simple. All what you have to do, you have to do one of two things. Number one, you, you can take, as I told you, we have here four numbers. You can take the last number here, and you convert it to binary. After you convert it to binary, you can see which which case here, okay? This is one way to do it. The other way you can do it is, I, as I told you last time, uh, if if the last byte start with zero, so it, it must be a number between zero and 127. So all numbers between zero and 20, 127 start start by zero, okay? If 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 the last two bits one zero, I, okay? So it's actually, it's gonna be from one, 128 to 191, okay? If it is 110, so uh, uh, it's between 192 to 223, okay? So maybe maybe it's easy because you don't need to convert the decimal to binary. It just if you if you look at the last byte, the last byte can tell you which class is that, okay? Also, you can see here, uh, if if it is uh, if it is class E, so actually the network ID is gonna be one byte. The first byte can tell you what is the network ID, okay? If it is class P, so actually the last the two bytes, two bytes are gonna be the network ID. If it is class C, so actually the last three bytes. Is that okay? So very simple. So anyway, so now you should, or I'm, I'm sure this will be a question. I'm gonna give you an IB, and then I ask you, number one, what is the class of this IB? Number two, I'm gonna ask you, what is the network? What is the network ID, and what is the host ID? 
Okay, the network ID is a number here, and I think I give you last time started to give you some examples. For example, what is the class of this one? Very simple. L last bit is zero, so this class A. Very simple. And because it is class A, class A, the network ID is only the last byte. So this is the network ID, and this is the host ID. Okay, so this part for the host, this part for the network. Okay, but if you go here, 134. 134, as you see here, should be class B. And the class B should be two bytes. So class B, so actually this is a network ID, okay? And this part actually is the host ID. No, I think I made a mistake. This is, uh, no, it's okay. This is correct because one th because this is class B, okay? In class B, it is two bytes. It's correct, okay? If you, this one actually it is class, class C, Again, you can look at the last three bits or you can look at this number, okay? And because it's class three, it's class C, so actually this is the network ID and this one here is actually the host ID. Is that okay? You understand what I'm saying? Okay, very important thing you should understand, very, very important thing, as I, as I told you. For example, we have an organization or like for example, a Qatar University campus or a company or whatever. I have a certain organization this organization is asking for IP. Is that okay? So, for example, I decided to give this IP, which is class C. I give this 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 IP to this to this organization. Is, is that okay? So, as you see here, all all the IPs of this organization should have this part, because this part is is the network ID. Is that okay? But how many computers we can have here? Also, this may be a question in exams or something like that. So you need to know what is the class. You need to know what is the network ID. Number three, you need to know what is all, all IBs or the range of IBs we have for this organization, okay? So actually, all what I'm gonna do simply, the host ID, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna from zero until 255 in this case because the host ID is only zero. That means if you have an organization or or a network a big uh, an organization like this one, the network ID is actually to, uh, to, uh, the network uh, uh, the network ID is actually two two twenty point three four point seven five four six, and this part is common for all the IPs here. Okay, and the, I'm, I'm going to use this one as you will see it. I'm going to use it for routing. Okay. But what about the computer C? What are the exact IBs? So the exact IBs we have, this part is common, as I told you. So we are going to start dot zero all the way until dot 255. You got what I'm saying? So I'm going to see all the possible cases for the host ID. The host ID, we have only one byte. One byte is the host ID. So this file is going to be from zero until 255. This whole the range of the IBs we have. Again, for routing, for routing, I'm going to only look at this part. Any questions? Okay. So this is an, an important thing here. I want you to understand. Uh, we agree, for example, here in this one, this is class P, okay? I told you here in class P, it's two bytes. So this is the network ID. Is that okay? And this part here is actually the host ID. Okay. Uh, so... Usually, I'm not going to ask you to give me the network ID. So this is what is the network ID. Instead, I'm going to ask you, what is the network address? Not ID, address. So how can you get the network address? So simply, the network address is the network ID, which is 134.11. And then in the host ID, you have to put zeros in the host ID. Is that OK? So when I tell you in exams, get me what is the network address. The network address, you have to put in the network ID, which is this part, and then you put zero here, okay? So this is this is the address for the network, because the whole network has this part in common here. This is the address for the network, um, uh, okay? And also, this is also one address of the addresses of, of the hostess, because I told you are gonna change this is a host ID. We're going to change it from 00, zero until 255, 255, because I'm going to change here two, two bytes all the way. Okay, we have all this, uh, this, uh, this range. Okay, so again, you should understand what is the network address. The network address is the network ID, and then here we will put zero as a host, host ID. Is that okay? And this is actually, 
uh, this is for the network, and this is what I'm going to use in routing. Also, this is the address for one of the hosts, because as I told you, one of the hosts is the same, and then you go all the way and build one, 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 all the possible cases, okay? Uh, so here I give you more examples here. For example, let's see this one. Given this address, find the net, what is the network address? Is that okay? First of all, you have to look at this one. You can see this is class A. You, you, this is class A because it is class A. So it is actually the network ID, only this part. 23 is only the network ID. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So how given given this address, how can you get how can you get the network address? I told you to get the network address. You have to keep the network ID and then you have to put zero everywhere. And this is what I did. So this is the network address. So this part 23 is common for all, all the addresses in this network. Any questions? Okay. Next one here. If I give you this one also, I ask you for the for the network address. Again, this one is class P. You can tell from the list one here, it's class P. And because it's class P, so actually the network ID is going to be this the these two bytes. So, and then you can put zero here in the host ID. So, so this is the address, okay? If I give you a network address, this is a network address, okay? Network address, this one, okay? So, uh, the thing, this one is common. Again, you can change this one, say, from zero, 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 all the way from 10, 255, 255, 255, all, all this range, okay? So, actually, here, this class is class. Let's, again, you can look, look at the last bit, uh, byte here, okay? It's this, this, this is class, class A, okay? Uh, because you don't actually don't need to do anything because it's only one byte. If, if you have only one byte here, this is class, class B. If it's two bytes, actually it's gonna be class B, uh, three bytes, class C. Any questions? Okay. The most important thing I explained because I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build on this one right now. The most important thing I explained is um, if you have if you have organization, like for example, like Qatar University campus, for example, okay, so Qatar University campus is gonna ask for uh, uh, IBs, okay? I, Qatar University wanna create a network here, for example, okay? So we, we need IBs, so it's gonna ask for IP. Okay. So the university is gonna be granted a network, a network IB, okay? For example, I'm gonna give you a university, for example, uh, this one here, uh, any anyone so for example um uh, uh, 23.0.0.0 for example here okay so so actually remember this is a network ID and need the is a network address remember the network address is not only one address it's like a bunch of addresses you got what I'm saying because this part this part is gonna be common for all of them so actually because I'm not gonna give the university only one address the university needs too many addresses. Okay, so I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give the university actually this network this network uh, uh, network address. Okay, and in routing, I'm gonna as I told you, I'm gonna use this one here in the routing. So any IP comes to me when I see the network network address is twenty three. So I'm gonna forward it to Qatar University. It's the same idea as I told you last time. If you have a letter and this letter is to Kuwait, if it is to Kuwait, has to go this way. You got what I'm saying? As I is this the same thing? So every time I see this part here, so it has to go to Qatar University, for example. Is that okay? Okay, now let's come to the important point. The important point is again, this is not one address. This is for the host. For the host, there's too many addresses for the host, right? You start from zero, zero, all the way until 255. 255, 255. This is too many addresses. Okay. Now the the university offered already has too many addresses, okay? So the question is that, um, so the university is gonna create only one network, one network inside it, the answer is no. The universe inside the university itself, again, this is a very important thing. The outside world is gonna see me as only one network, is that okay? But inside this network, I have the freedom, and this is the beauty here, because this network is a private network. I want to give you the freedom to create your network as you want. It's up to you. It doesn't matter for me as outside wallet. Outside, outside wallet, I'm going to see you with this one. 
I don't care about how you are going to use the address, how you are going to use your own network description. It's yours. I cannot, I cannot force you to do it in a certain way, or I, can, I can't require you to do it in a certain way. Okay? So actually, what happens is, after I give you this address, uh, this address is going to, for sure, it's not a good idea to, to, to create one, one LAN or one network that has too many computers. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea for many things, for creation, uh, for, uh, for medium access control, for communication, for everything. Okay, so it's not a good idea to create only one network. So actually what we do is that, and this is the most important thing, listen to me. What we do is that after I give you, after I give you this address, you are gonna create another hi hi hierarchy level. How you are gonna create another hierarchy level? As you see here, you are gonna come to the host part and you are gonna divide into two parts. And this is up to you. I just, all what I did, outside world, is gonna be this way. Is that okay? And then it's up to you, you can manage your, your own network as you want. It's up to you, okay? So what you have to do, this one part, the host one, I'm gonna divide it into two parts. One part for, for sub network, and one part for the host ID, okay? So, so what you should understand now, it was only one network in the very beginning. It was only one network. So all of them have, all, all of this one have network address, the same network address, okay? And inside this network, I'm gonna create sub networks. For example, this building can have one network, other buildings can have another building, or this office can be a network by itself, or this lab, a network by itself, and so on. So we have several sub-networks, sub-networks. The beauty of, the, of this idea is, I'm gonna give you the premium beta to predict them as you want, it's up to you, is that okay? But now, every, every sub-network has, has what we call sub-network address, or sub-network ID. And this ID is common for, for all the computers. So now I'm going to move to another level now. The other level is this network ID is common for all, all computers, all networks we have. Okay. But this one is, 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 is for one sub network. And, and inside this sub network, we have different, we have different host ID. So this idea is exactly similar when you write the mailing address, you have to write a country. You have to write a city, and inside the city you have streets, for example, okay? Or your country, and then you have to say the state, and then you have to say the city. So you can see this one, a country. All, all the cities, for example, in the United States, for example, they have this part, okay? The same country. And then inside, inside this one, we have different cities. For every city, or for different states. For every state, we have different cities, and so on. Is that, is that okay? That's why now I'm going to move to the idea what we call subnetting, subnet, okay? So the idea of subnet, I'm going to divide the network into several smaller groups who call them subnetwork, okay? And now we have three levels. The whole network, like Qatar University as an example, it has only one network ID. Inside Qatar University, there are different networks. We call them subnetworks, sub, sub okay? Every subnetwork, this part is common for every subnetwork. Is that okay? And the host is, is for, for a certain computer inside this subnetwork, inside this network. Any questions? I'm going to give you an example to understand. Sometimes you, we have actually several examples, OK? So OK, how I can I split? How I can I split this one here, OK? This is also very, uh, that's what I said for here. I can I can see the part, because this, this is how the outside world you can see me using the network ID, OK? This is my. How I can see this one to kill? What I take, for example, seven, seven bits for the for the submit and the little the bits and put it in the host ID, or it's up to you. So the short answer is, for example, in total here, as you will see right now, in total here, for example, if you have 24, 24 bits, okay? How I do this splitting between sub ID and between host ID? The answer is it's up to you. If you if you if you need a few few number of sub, sub, sub networks. For example, I can make the sub network three bits and the rest of the bits for host ID. In this case, I'm not gonna have a lot, uh, too many sub networks, but for every sub network, I'm gonna have too many computers, okay? Uh, or I can make this one, for example, I can make it eight bits or eight bits, it's up to you. No one, because this is something internal. 
is the outside world it doesn't need to know these details. This the outside world it doesn't need. It's up to you. It's, it's, it's your own network. Make make it as as you want. It's, it's not my business because when when I communicate to you, I'm gonna only need this part. It's very interesting because it it gives the freedom for every organization to manage its own network. Okay. Um, I have several examples here because this binary number, so everything has to be to to uh, the power of two. Okay. For example, I, I'm going to give you some example to understand it, uh, but it has to be, everything has to be the power of two. So how many, for example, if I tell you here, how many sub network we have, but it has to be two, two, two to the power of something for sure, because if this one, for example, three bits. If you if I select three bits, so it has to be two to the power three uh, sub, sub network. Okay. If I select five bits, so it has to be two to the five five. So always because it's a binary, always it has to be two to the power of something. Since same thing for the number of host, host host IDs we have. So you will see right now. So what I'm seeing here. So now, um. So. The, so what happens now is. Okay, I have a network here, as I told you. I have an IP address. Is that okay? From the IP address, it's easy to know the class. It's easy to get the network ID. Once I get the network ID, okay, I know. So this is, is there is a router here, a router here. Okay, this, this is for Qatar University. So this one has to go to Qatar University. Is that okay? Now, now the router needs to know the subnet ID. Make sense? The router now needs to know what is because inside here there are different subnetworks here. The router has to know it has to go to this subnetwork or this subnetwork or this subnetwork. How? So this one has to has to look at the sub. It's different levels. Okay, as I told you, if uh, if you have a mail coming from outside the country, anything going to Kuwait, for example, or United States, has to be together. Okay, this is the part here. Inside the United States, anything that is go to in a certain city or state, it has to be to some ID, okay? Uh, subnet, subnet ID, okay? Um, so now the question is that, okay? The question is that I need, when you have an IB, I need to split, I need to cut this IB into three parts. The network, network ID, subnet, the subnet, and the host, host, Host ID, is that okay? For the network ID, it is easy. Why it is easy? Simply because, as you see here, I'm gonna see what is the class, and this one is the class, I can see if it is one byte or two bytes or three bytes, it's easy, okay? Now, what is, what is not easy? The subnet, why? Because the subnet, there is no specific rule for subnet. I'm gonna leave it to you. That means from here to here, for example, it may be, 24 bits. Someone can decide, okay, I'm gonna so sub my sub network is four, four bits, and then I'm gonna use two, 20 bits for uh, for host ID. Someone well, someone else can say, no, I'm gonna make it eight and uh, 16, and so on. You got them say so so there is if, if I give you an ID, there is no way to know where is the sub sub network. Okay, that is why we're gonna have something uh, we call it sub network mask. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. So this mask, this mask should tell me, should tell me what is the situation, how how I can extend the subnet from here. Okay. So, for example, as you see here in this figure, if, if this is the network ID, for example, so this part for the network, okay, as you see here, and then I tell you this part here, okay, host ID. Uh, so you have you have many options. The first option I can create only one network. And in this case, my network then have two to the power 16 computers in one network, okay? Or maybe I, I can do it in a different way. I can use three bits for the subnet, three bits for the subnet. In this case, I can have up to, up to eight, two to the power three, which is eight subnetwork. Inside every subnetwork, we have 13 bits here for the uh, for the ID, for, for, for the host ID, that means, I'm gonna have eight subnetworks. For every subnetwork, I'm gonna have two to the power thirteen uh, computers. Up to for sure, up to okay. 
So it's up to you how can you sell it, okay? So now again, I'm gonna come to my question again. What do you mean by mask and how, how it is used? What do you mean? Okay, I'm gonna go back a little bit in, uh, in binary systems or in digital system uh, uh, to tell you what I mean by mask. In binary numbers, okay, you know in binary numbers, if you have one bit, bit one and one, the result is one. This is end, okay? But if you have one and zero, or let, let me see it in a, okay. Uh, one and zero, so the result actually is, is, is zero. Is that okay? So if you do end, logic, logic end between one and zero, it's zero, right? And if you want end one, you are gonna get, you are gonna get one, okay? So here, here comes, so I'm gonna use this idea, I'm gonna use this end, the logic end to be able to split or to extract the, the network ID and also the sub-network ID. For example, let me give you an example. Here, for, here, I know this may be easy case, but I can also use mask for this case. Here, for example, here. I wanna, I wanna get the network ID, okay? Yeah, that's easy. I'm gonna see what is the class, let's 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 uh, A, so and then the first part. Is that okay? I can do this work, okay? Also, I can use mask. How can you use mask? Very simple. So here in this case, if it is class A, and if you wanna get the, the network ID, you have to use this mask. The mask is one, 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 eight ones, because you have here eight, okay, total eight. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna put here zero, zero, zero everywhere. And then you have to do end, logic end. If I do that, I'm gonna keep this far. Because no, when and anything, you are gonna get one. So here, actually, in, 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 in binary numbers, zero and x. X can be anything, zero or one. The result is zero, regardless of whatever you have. But one and x, I'm gonna get x. So if you wanna keep this, the same piece, you have to do end with one. One is gonna keep them. So here, uh, you know, I wanna keep this one because this is the network ID, okay? But I wanna, I have to do zero, 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 okay? Because the network ID is supposed to be zero, 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 okay? To do that, I'm gonna have what you call a mask. So the mask in this case is actually one, 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 zero, zero, zero. If you do end, you are gonna keep this part and you are gonna, you are gonna, you are gonna get here zero, zero. So again, what is mask? Very simple. Mask. A number, it's a number. When I do end, when I do end between the ID and this number, the result is going to be the network address. Okay. If the mask for sub network, so the result is going to be sub network address. You got what I'm saying? So you'll understand better now what, what I'm explaining here. So, so now, uh, if you have, again, again, what I see now, the ID address is gonna be split into, into three parts. The network part, sub-network, and post. Is that okay? So now, and also, we have here, the, this, is, this is the IB, we have IB address, we have the network, uh, the network address, we have the sub-network address. So I have three addresses now. So we have address for the sub for the network itself. This is a part of common for the whole network. And then we have sub network address for, for this sub network. So all the computers in this sub network have the same this sub network address. And inside this one, maybe computer has a certain address. So we have, we have three addresses here. Number one, uh, how can you get the network address? Very simple. You have you have to keep this part. And you have to put zeros everywhere, as I explained to you before. This is for the network address. Okay. What about the sub network address? How I can get the sub network address? The sub network address, you have to keep these two parts. You have to keep these two parts, and then you have to put zeros here in the host bar. You understand what I'm saying? So using the IP address, if I keep this part and put zero, that's the network address. If I keep this two parts, network, network and sub-network, and put zero here, it becomes a sub-network address. Is that okay? Now let's look, come to my idea, uh, the idea of, of mask. So again, what is mask? Mask is a number, okay? If I have an IB and I do logic end, I do logic end between this number and the IB, 
I can get the network address or I can get the sub because I have two masks. For example, here, I can see it. This is the network, network mess. Sometimes we call it the default mess, okay? The network mess is actually here in this case. I, I, I need this one, and then I'm gonna put it in every way. To do that, I'm gonna put it in one, 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 and then I put zero, zero, zero. Why? Because you know from binary, from digital systems, if I do end, so I'm gonna keep this part, and then I'm gonna this part is gonna be zero zero zero, okay? Because zero is gonna mask, but one is gonna keep keep these values, okay? However, if you if you wanna get the sub network the sub network uh, uh, address, so you have to use the sub network mask. In the sub sub network mask, as I told you, I wanna keep this part. I wanna keep this part, but I have to put zero zero. That's why the mask is gonna be this one. So conclusion, conclusion, number one. If, if I give you the ID address, and I give you, you don't need it, but anyway, if I, because from the class, you can you, you can get it. But anyway, if I give you the network or the people to mess, all what you have to do, you have to do end operation, it bit by bit and lose end to get to get the network address. Okay. For the sub network, and if I give you the sub network mess, you are gonna do bit by bit, okay. To do uh, to get the sub network mess. Any questions? Okay. Okay. Let me tell. You, okay. Someone can. Someone can tell me. Okay. It's it's easy, but the problem. I have to convert binary to decimal, decimal to binary, right? So if I give you an IB something like that, any any IB, yeah. If I give you IB like that, here you have to convert. You have to convert this one to. Uh, you, ha you have to convert this one to, uh, to, to to binary, right? So it's a lot of headache to convert to binary and do, you return it back to, uh, to uh, uh, decimal back and so on. Is that okay? Yes, you have to do this way. Is there something you can make it easy for us? Yeah, I'm gonna give you give you some tricks to make it easy. What are the tricks? I'm gonna tell you the tricks. Look here, if the mask, if the mask, for example, has 255, okay? For example, dot 255, dot zero, zero, for example. You know 255 is actually one, 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 eight ones, okay? So when you do end, I don't need to convert. Why? Because I'm gonna keep this part as is. Because here, you are gonna keep it because it's one, 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 one. You understand what I'm saying? So every time you see 255, you can just, you don't need to do the conversion, okay? To, to binary. Because I know 255 means 1111. When I do end, I'm gonna get the same number that I'm saying. So in this case, every time you see 255, just take, 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 take this digit. Okay, you don't need to convert uh, to the conversion. By this way, I'm gonna do only conversion if this number is not 255. Yes. I'm gonna give you an example now. Look for, look here. Yeah, for example, here, this one is 255. Okay, so I'm gonna just, whatever whatever digit you have here, I'm gonna just take, I'm gonna take this digit. I'm gonna take this digit, okay? For the sub-network, I'm gonna, this one is 255. I'm gonna take this one. This one is 255, so I'm gonna take this one. However, this one is two, 224. 224 here. So this one, I have to convert this. So again, using this trick, a small trick, I can, I don't need to convert everything to binary. I can make it easy in some cases. So every time you see zero, that means whatever the number you have here, the result is zero. This is end, logic end. Every time I see 255, whatever the digit you have here, you are gonna get the same digit because 255 is one, 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 okay? Anything else other than zero, 255, you have to convert, okay? Any questions? Also, so, so this is one way to just to make it easy. So again, what you should understand to make it easy, you should understand number one, you should understand what I mean by mess. Mess is a number that's gonna help me to extract the network address or to extract the sub-network address from the IB, right? This is number one. Number two, how can you do that? Bit by bit logic end, okay? Uh, to make it easy, as I told you, every time you see 255, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the corresponding uh, digit, I don't need to convert, okay? Uh, by, uh, but if it is if it is not zero, zero, I'm gonna get zero. 255, I'm gonna get the same digit. If anything else, so in this case, I have, you have to convert, okay? 
also also how okay can we there is also another thing another things we can do to make to make to make this conversion easy okay what you are going to do i'm going to tell you so we're going to use something like slash as you see here slash okay this is another way another way to do it okay just to make it easy okay i'm going to use a slash so what do you mean by this slash i'm going to tell you what i mean look here what i want to say so again what is the idea of the mask idea of the mask i want to keep i want to keep one part and then i want to put zeros in the other part that's it so i need this part because this part this part is for me this part here, it's actually from the sub network because I told you in the sub network, in sub network address, we have two. We have the network address in addition to the sub network ID, both of them together. So here, this I need to keep this part network, network ID and sub network ID. That's why here I want to keep this part this way. That's why I'm going to put 111. Okay. So, so the idea of the slash is look here, I can, I can say, here we have eight and we have eight. So the split, the split is gonna be after after 16. So I'm gonna say it's less 16. It's like it's, it's less 16 means you have to come from the end and you have to take all the numbers you have here for 16 bits. Okay, and then you put zero here. Again, this is just another way to make it easy instead of converting to binary and so on. Okay. In this case, I'm gonna say it, it is actually slash. 19. So that means the sub network is actually all. If you have to keep everything from here to 19 and then put zero everywhere. You got what I'm saying? Again, what I'm talking about it, if I give you an IB, how can you extract the sub network mask? How can you extract the network, uh, sorry, the sub network uh, uh, address? How can you extract the network address? Okay. You can do it in one or two ways. So here, again, this is the mess. Okay, this mess is exactly equivalent to slash eight. Because this one, 255, 255, sorry, 255, 255, 255, that means I have to keep slashes, I have to keep slashes, and then I have to replace the slashes. In other words, this slash 16, slash 16, that means I, I need to keep the first 16 bits. Here, slash 24. Any questions? Okay. Yeah, so this is the idea of, that's what exactly what I'm talking about. So for example, here, this is, I have a network ID. That's what I told you, I have a network ID. I have I have the network mask. We call it network mask or default mask, network mask. If I do bit by bit in logic, I'm gonna get what we call network, network address. The network address, as you see here, it has this part for the network and then in the host, I put zero, zero, zero. Okay, that's exactly what I did. I did just bit by bit, a logic end. Okay, also, 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 if I have the same IP and I have the sub network mask, sub network mask, if you do logic end bit by bit, so you are gonna get, you are gonna actually get here the sub network address. Okay, not network address, but sub network address. Okay, as shown here. Any questions? So the idea of the mask is gonna tell you when you have to cut. If you have a number here, if you cut here, you are going to get the network. If you cut here, you are going to get the sub network address, and you are going to put zeros in the end. I can do it in two different ways. If you have a mask, okay, and you have the IB, you can do bit by bit uh, uh, logic end. Or if you use the idea of the slash, okay, so as you will see uh, uh, shortly, for example, you can do it now, just. Okay, for example, this one, this one, I can say, this one is slash, slash uh, 16, because eight and eight. So all what I can do here, because it is 16, I know this one is eight and this one is eight. So I'm gonna take this part from here to here, and then it's gonna become this way, and about zero everywhere in the other bits. You got what I'm saying? Because 16, slash 16. So that means you need to keep from the left, from the left, you have to keep 16 bits. Uh, yeah, yeah, for example, so I'm expecting now, if I give you IB, that's what you should know now in exams, in quizzes, whatever, 
if I give you an IP, I give you a mask, you can get the network uh, address and also you can get the sub network address. Uh, either I give you a mask or I give you a slash. Okay, the slash, slash notation. Okay? For example, here, if I tell you slash 24, for example, all what you have to do, this is this is the number, um, sorry, this is, uh, um, yeah, for example, here, if you have slash uh, here, yeah, for example, if this is a sub-network mask, my sub-network mask is this way, okay? So here we have, I'm going to convert it to binary, it's here, one, 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 so I can say this is a subnetwork mask, or I can say it is slash twenty eight. So slash twenty eight means you have to keep all the all the bits, all the numbers from here until until twenty eight, twenty eight ones. You got what I'm saying? So this one is exactly equivalent to this one, yep. uh, and so on. So again. Why, why we have this high, 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 hierarchy in the IP addresses? For sure, uh, to, to improve scalability, to improve scalability, uh, you, to make routing easy, make routing easy. You can imagine the whole Qatar University campus, I'm going to see it using only one number, network, network, network address. You got what I'm saying? That's why, that's why it, is, it is doable. That's why it's scalable, because the internet is huge. You got what I'm saying? Uh, anyway. So now I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move to the second part here. In so in routing tables, I'm not gonna in routing tables. I'm I'm not gonna uh, list every every host. Okay. So it's not gonna be every host. It's gonna be network. It's gonna be the network. Uh, the net, network. Uh, the network address. Okay. Um, so here. Uh, as I told you before, if you have a subnetwork or subnetwork is this way, usually we have a router this way. As I told you last time, there are one of two cases. Either the destination is my neighbor in the same network. And in this case, I'm gonna get the, get the message delivered directly. Is that okay? If it is not, so I have to deliver to the router and the router will take care of it. So for every computer, every computer is gonna be uh, it's gonna decide. I receive a message. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I need, I need to know if this is, is, is the destination one of my neighbors in the network. Yes. Okay. Put, put the MAC address of this guy and just transmit. I'm done. If not, just send it to the router. Router will take care of it. Okay. So now, uh, so, so one way. One way to know if the destination is my neighbor in the network or not, one way to know is for every network, network, sorry, I mean subnetwork, okay? For every subnetwork, we have a one part to common for all of us, okay? Which is subnetwork address. This part is common for all of us, okay? So all what I'm gonna do is that if you give me an address, this is a destination, for example, this is a destination. I need to know, I need to know if this destination in my network or not, okay, for routing. If it is not, I'm going to send to the router as I told you. All what I have to do is that I have the subnetwork mask. I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply the subnetwork mask, and then I'm going to get the subnetwork address. Then I'm going to compare this address to my subnetwork. If it is the same address, like my subnetwork, so this guy is the neighbor to me. Otherwise, it's not a neighbor to me. Okay, so again, so the subnetwork address mask is going to give you actually the subnetwork uh, address. From the subnetwork address, you can know if the, if the destination or your neighbor or not, because all all the subnetwork computers have the same the same subnetwork address. Okay, uh, so that's why if you see the how the routing table looks like. The routing tables, it looks like this way. And this is very smart idea. Again, because we are talking about very scalable network, very, very scalable network, okay? So here, once you receive a packet, you have to, ex you have to extract the destination address, right? And then once, you, once you, you, you find the destination address, as I told you before, I have a table. I'm going to look at this table. And then after that, I'm going to decide 
So if this is a router, we will have a picture here, yeah. For example, I have a router here. This is a router, right? The router has output here to this network, has interfa interface here, interface here, interface here, okay? When I see a packet here this way, I have I have to know, should, should I send it this way or this way or that way? Who's gonna tell you? Routing table, okay? So that's why the routing table here is gonna look like something like that, okay? Here, this is the mask, okay, for, for the network. And then this is this is a mask for network or subnetwork. Okay. And then if I apply this mask, so every, as I told you, every every subnetwork has a mask. Is that okay? Every subnetwork has a mask. If I apply, if I apply this mask and I find the subnetwork equal to this network, that means this IB is is this uh, uh, this IB is in this network. So I have to forward this way. Let me say it again. Actually, the way it works is, as we see here, we have a mask for every subnetwork connected to me. As a router here, I have this, this is um, here, this is, this is actually the subnetwork for, this is the subnetwork for, for all computers here, okay? Either, either this number this way or slash 25, it's the same thing. Either use slash 25, you use this one, okay? Uh, so, so all, 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 all the computers here, all, all the computers should have this part here. Same thing, all the computers here should have this part here. All computers here should have this part here uh, and so on, okay? So all what I'm gonna do is that, very simple. All what I'm gonna do is that, I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna apply this mask, I'm gonna apply this mask and see if, if the computer in this network, I'm gonna forward it this way, okay? So, so again, uh, it's, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see the whole network. If you have the whole network, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see it like only one network address inside the network. Every sub network, I'm gonna see it like only one sub network address. You know what I'm saying? So I need to extract the sub network address to decide it. So that's why I'm gonna give you details now. But this is the main thing here. It's actually we have masks here, sub network masks. I'm gonna apply for the IB when I receive IB. I'm gonna apply this mask. To extract the, the subnetwork address. If, if the subnetwork address is, is here, okay, so I'm gonna forward. If it is not, so I'm gonna try next one. I'm gonna try next one. I'm gonna try next one. So I have to scan, I have to go through until until match, match, match should happen. Okay. If if it's if it's not any one of this, you will see right now the last one here has to go to the router, as you will see. But this is the main idea. For example, let's see, and this is uh Maybe it's very attractive for, for me as an instructor in exams, in quizzes. I can give you a question like this one. Okay. So for example, I can give you, I can give you something like that in exam, and then I'm gonna ask you to, to create the routing table. Create the routing table. Okay. Let's see how, how we can solve this one. Okay. So the way the way you are gonna solve it here, as you see, um, let's start with, for example, here with, with this one here, 26, okay, slash 26. Okay, so as you see here, I'm gonna make, this one has to go to through ME2. So I'm gonna look at ME2 here. So here I'm gonna go to ME2, ME2, is that okay? And here, slash, slash 26. This is the mask. This is a subnetwork mask, okay? That means if I have an IB, if I apply this mask, and the, if this is the result, so it has to go this way. If not, I'm gonna try this mask, okay? If this is the result, it has to go this way. Then if no, I have to go next one. If not, this, if, if I upload this mask, and this is the result, does so that mean that I, this is a subnetwork of this, of, this, of this IB? So it has to go this way, okay? If it is this one, it has to go this way. If not, if neither, if neither one of these, so it has to go, it has to go to ME2. So ME2 here, as you see, in ME2, the router, you have a router to go to the rest of the network, okay? So how can you create? How can you create this one? Look, let's 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 see it. For example, let's start. For example, by M M zero. In M is M here. This router is connected to this network here. Okay, this is the mask of the network, and this is the network address. All what you have to do here. Look here. Yeah, I'm gonna put here M zero, and this is the mask, and this is the network address. That's it. So if I have an IP. If I apply the mask and I find the network address similar to this one, it has to go to ME0. So I'm, I am done with ME0. So this one is done. Okay. Let's try this one, ME3. I'm going to repeat the same thing again. This is the mask. 
and this is the network this is the result this is the network network address m3 so I'm, uh, this is m m3 here okay so i'm gonna put this is the mask here and this is the address here okay same thing again here for uh, m1 this is the mask and this is the address for m1 so if i come here for m1 i'm gonna make a record for this one is that okay now last thing here for m2 for m2 i have m2 i have one of two cases okay number one maybe it has to come here or maybe it has to come to the uh, to the router here to if it is if it is not here not here not here not here so it has to go to the router to take care of it okay so that's why m2 you can see it in the table twice m2 you can see it m2 here one time here m2 so if 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 the destination in this network so actually you can see 25 and this address i'm going to put them here this is the mask 25 and this is the address here okay that means the destination is here but if 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 the destination is not here is not here is not here is not here what should i do it has to come to here and this is exactly what i did here in m2 here i said any so anything else so anything else has to has to go to and now i have a next hub when i put a slash here or i put this slash that means it is delivered there is no next hub just deliver get get it delivered but here here we are going to have a next hub here the next hub here is actually uh, is actually here you are going to tr transmit it to this router to take care of it okay so that's why i'm saying if it is anything else if anything else other than this ones just send it to the router router will take it and this is the address of the router so i have i have to send the message through m2 and i have to use this address here okay any questions let's take the attendance um, as, I, as I told you, uh, the quiz is going to be May 2nd, inshallah, okay? After